Jeez. She did not take like Ezekiel. Ezekiel, when he said, and she lost it over her lover. You need a donkey to shove it in your mouth. These Muslims are only worried about what is between your legs. Because their Muhammad, that idiot man, he was only worried about sex, about vagina, and about penis. Imagine, imagine this piece of how she looks like without makeup. So this is not a religion who teaches God's love. This is a religion, savage, brutal, cruel and wicked and evil religion who teaches you that if you come out of Islam, you're supposed to be killed. Is that godly? Do you know something, Shalali? When I call you Mutar woman, you don't like me calling you that, no. do you? No. You know, guys, I'll, I have explained what is Muta in the... For, again, I'm going to explain. You know, Brother Mike is uh, taking it like a drama and he's calling me Muta woman all the time. But I'm going to tell you, Muta in the Shia and Sunni, Muslims, they, Muta means you can have, you can marry somebody for three months, for three days, for few months and give them money and you can have sex and you can divorce them and you can do multiple times and that is called muta that is behind the marriage illi behind the marriage they have made legal prostitution you can pay the money you can behind the marriage you can have sex and you can divorce so that is called muta so i am not from that category i am a child of god and woman of faith and i don't like any muta puta that is only Muslims like it. So brother, street Mike, I like you, but please don't call me Muta woman. Please call me Shalini, the child of God. Someone just says you're giving brilliant answers and I can't. So Christian Knight has says, good answer, Shalali. But the point, but the point I'm making is... Ezekiel, when he said, and she lost it over her lover, and she okay. went... These Muslims, these Muslims are only worried about bottom part of women. These Muslims, these Muslims, these Muslims, they are only worried about... These Muslims are only worried about what is between your legs. My dear friends, they are only worried about what is between the man leg, and what is between the woman like they are only worried about because their Muhammad, that idiot man, he was only worried about sex, about vagina and about penis. That Muhammad, he was only worried about that. So dear friends, you see, you see every Muslim, those who talk to me, they have F word in their mouth, they have bitch word in their mouth, they have uh, dick word in their mouth and this is what they do. They are not coming here to learn. They are not coming here to understand what is the spirituality of God, what is the holiness of God. And I don't want to speak those words. I never want to speak those words, but look at their mouth. They are supposed to worship five times a day, but their mouth is full of F, mouth is full of vagina, mouth is full of dick, mouth is full of, uh, uh, what do you call, b these five things their mouth is full of and they need to worship five times Allah it seems. So look at their attitude, their mouth is full of gutter, their mouth is full of gutter, but they worship Allah five times a day. Is that holy? Is that righteous? Is that uh, humbleness? Is that holiness? No. You are worshipping shaitan Muslims, you are worshipping shaitan devil in disguise as Allah. I can imagine that man who just now came and told she needs this, she needs that, dirty words. And I can imagine how he must be talking to his wife, he, how he must be talking to his children and what he must be teaching to his children. You can understand by the words they use, what attitude they have. So they can, I can imagine what respect the woman got in their house. His wife must be listening all these dirty words, all when he gets angry, he must be using those dirty words on them. And children, they are all listening, they are learning how their father is using. So dear friends, they say we pray five times a day, but you know, their, their mouth is full of gutter. Their mouth is full of gutter words. 
and which is not holy, which is not righteous, which is not godly at all. I don't want to speak any words like this, but look at them. You have seen my videos, how they are shouting all those words. You know, that's why I tell them, uh, I'm just like your mother. Don't talk those bad words to me. Thank you very much. So, so don't don't worry about him, Shadali. So, for me, Speaker's Corner is a place. I like I like it because I want to open the hearts and minds of these people to truly think that religion or faith is not a joke. God's judgment is coming. God is coming soon, and Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is God of the heaven and the earth. Jesus Christ is that God who has done the salvation plan on the cross, and He is coming alone to judge the whole world. And you know, God's judgment is serious. Either you will go to hell or heaven. If you believe in the one true loving God and accept Jesus Christ as Lord God and Savior, you will go to heaven and your soul is safe. But if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you're, you are going to burn in hell. And these people, they are worshipping Muhammad, the Satan, and Muhammad, Satan, Muhammad, the Satan, and devil. They are going to burn in hell. They are going to burn in hell. You need a donkey to shove it in your mouth. Yeah. Horrible man. Exactly. Horrible man. Tell it to your woman. Tell it to your wife. She needs one. Tell it to your wife. She needs one. She's not happy. Muslims. The priest will shove you outside. He hears how he's talking. So shove it. Look at the words. Guys, you have just seen. Look at the mouth. He is Muslim. He is a Muslim. Look at his mouth. Look at his mouth. He is a Muslim. Look at this word. Look at his word. Look at his word. No, go and tell him then. Tell him. I am telling tell the him. Ezekiel. Tell him. Ezekiel, the Bible. Tell him. I'm telling the Bible. The Bible said. Last dear friends, dear friends, you these blood. Muslims, you these blood. Muslims, blood. these blood. Muslims, blood. they don't blood. know the Bible. Horse. The, horse. They, 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 they have no knowledge you of the blood. Bible. These Muslims, they have no knowledge of the Bible. Their understanding is very zero of the knowledge of the Bible. They have no understanding of the knowledge of the Bible. Give her one black booty. She love it. You want it? You know this okay. So, dear so, so, friends, look at the Muslim mouth. Look at the Muslim mouth. This is the mouth they pray five times to Allah, it seems. With that mouth, he prays five times. Look at the Indian mouth. Look at the Indian mouth. Look at the Indian. Look at the Indian. Imagine, imagine this piece of. How she look like without makeup? Every Muslim Imagine. Look at him. Imagine how she look like without high heel. Imagine. Imagine! Imagine what it looks like. Imagine what it looks like. Oh, dear friends, this, uh, this is a Muslim who prays five times a day, who prays five times a day, but in his mouth, but in his mouth, but in his mouth is only shit. You want, you want a donkey, dick, you You could never go to Saudi Arabia. Okay, anything else you want to ask? Anything else? So Christian Knight has said that Omar is a disgraceful yes. woman, disgraceful Muslim. Yes, of course. If, if you are a good Muslim, those words should not come out of your mouth. Whatever it happens, whatever you are hearing in the speaker's corner, those words should not come out of your mouth. So, I can imagine what he's doing at home as well. Those words are in his at home as well. So, you know? Le that is not a Muslim. You say Muslim is a peaceful religion. It's a very good religion. Is that the religion you're worshipping with your mouth? So, humble servant has said, Sis, don't be aggressive whilst proclaiming the gospel. Show the Muslims the love of Lord Jesus Christ. They'll revile and ridicule. But keep your cool. God will start working. Love your enemies. Pray for them. Okay, dear viewers, whoever asked this question, thank you very much.
I just want to say, you know, we love those Muslims. We love them. We don't hate them. I'm not coming with hate in my heart. I shouldn't be here. I should be lying down in a beach somewhere and having a great time. But I'm coming here because I love them and I want them to know the truth. And, you know, I should not ha uh, shout. I should not do anything like that. But when everybody's shouting in my, they're standing and shouting. So I think I will, I'm not automatically my voice is raising, but I don't hate them. They're shouting in my ears, and that's why, you know, I'm, my voice also is raising up. But did you see anybody I'm telling uh, that you are a F, you are a B, you are a C? Did, I, did you see me telling like that? So they are the ones talking all those words, and they provoke me to get angry. But I love them. I have no hatred for Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, atheists. We want them to open their eyes and heart to know the one true loving God. That's all. So, you are now filling a void left by Hatun. In filling that void, you become a potential target. What do you have to say to that? Okay. First of all, I didn't know who Hatun is. Hatun was. Later only I came to know. But, you know, if she has decided not to come up because of her own personal reasons, that's fine. She is a child of God. I am a child of God. I came to know that there is a free speech speaker's corner. And that's how I said, I need to come here and do the job. And I am not replacing Hatun. She is, we expect her to come back. We want her to come back. And she is a, a strong warrior of God. And she needs to come back. If she has decided, that's her decision. We cannot force anybody. She may come back later. That's up to her own personal. But I know that she was attacked by the one of the Muslim men. And, you know, they, they are planning to kill her. So that's why uh, maybe because from the police, they, uh, they have been, she has been warned. So uh, not to go here into speaker's corners. But, you know, I want to tell you something. Dear friends, religion is not by force. When anybody is talking about your religion, if, you, if I'm talking about Muhammad, you prove me wrong. Why are you talking like this? You prove me from your own Quran, my, me wrong. So why are you getting angry? Why are you getting angry? Why you want to kill others? In the Bible it says God is daily angry with the wicked. God did not say anybody to go and kill, to go. If you don't believe me, I will kill you. If you don't believe me, go and kill. God never says that. God is love. And dear friends, these Muslims, they are radicalized into that thought that, you know, if you don't believe in Allah, you are supposed to get killed. If you come out of Islam, you, we will kill you. In India and in Pakistan, there are honor killing. Parents are killing their own children because children came out of the Islam. And if the, if the Muslim girl gets friendly to a Christian man, they are going to get killed because they came out of Islam, because she disobeyed Islam. So this is not a religion who teaches God's love. This is a religion, savage, brutal, cruel, and wicked and evil religion, who teaches you that if you come out of Islam, you're supposed to be killed. Is that God? Is that godly? Is that holy? Is that righteous? Is that a uh, true living God uh, uh, order? No. God is love. Anything outside love is from Satan the devil. God want, God in the Bible said, love your enemies and love others as you love yourself. But devil the Satan, he wants you to kill each other. He wants you to hate each other. He wants us to abuse each other. He wants us to kill each other. And this is exactly they are practicing. So dear friends, Islam they say religion of peace, but inside is full of fear, full of hatred and full of cruelty about because of the teachings of that stupid Muhammad. Amen. That's right. Before you go, I'm going to read a comment made by someone on the YouTube chat. And what they have said when I can find it is that you have put on the armor of Christ. There it is. Amen. So, God bless so, you all. So, Sherald God Pritt, bless you, my friend. Whoever it says, is. yes. She is put on the arm of Christ. She does this without fear, not for the fear of the Lord. Okay. Dear friends, I thank you, brother. I love you for the comment. And, you know, 
I want to tell the Muslims, Hindu, atheist, everybody, full armor of God is what? Full armor. Helmet of salvation, which is Jesus Christ. Breastplate of righteousness, which is Jesus Christ. Belt of truth, which is Jesus Christ. Shoes of word, of, uh, shoes of the gospel of peace, which is Jesus Christ. And sword, which is the word of God, which is Jesus Christ. Because when you have Jesus Christ in your heart, you are dressed by the Holy Spirit, wearing the full armor of God. Amen. The Muslim fasting is no fasting. They eat from three to five. They hog like fruits, dates, um, sweets, biryani, meat, chicken, uh, goat, uh, lamb. Everything they'll hog in the night between three to five. Their stomach, their food is full up to the neck. And then they say, we are fasting, we are fasting. So dear friends, in the Bible it says, don't be hypocrites. Fast, when you fast for God, you eat, you don't eat, you don't drink for 40 days. Can you do that? No, they cannot do. They said we are fasting for 40 days, but hogging like a pig in the night. So dear friends, so dear friends, that is not fasting. That is all show off. That is all drama. So believe the fasting from God is very different from what they do. Thank you. Did you think... Ali Dawa, yes. Mohammed, yes. Hijab, and yes. Tremzi's trembling. Yes, yes. Why would they tremble for you? Because, you know, they have all the stupid answers from their own Quran. When I ask them something, they have they go around beating around the bush. They don't give straight answer. Because, you know, all these Muslim Dawas, they have no understanding of the Bible. They don't understand the spirituality of God. They don't understand the holiness of God. And they come to debate the Bible. Look at these people. The way you understand Bible is the wisdom of God. Written by wisdom of God. So you cannot use your low standard Islam wisdom to know the Bible. So Bible is the holy word of God. So dear friends, this Hashim, Mansur, Lamin, uh, Siraj, Ali Dawa, Muhammad Ijab, these six pillars of Islam, they don't know anything about Bible and they come and debate the Bible. Look at them. So these are all practicing Muhammad teaching, the satanic messenger of Allah, the shaitan. Amen. Thank you, guys. I love you for your comments. Come out, please. As Christians, come out. It's, this is the time to come out and uh, praise God, glorify God. You know, Jesus has given us the power over all the power of the enemy. Jesus has given us the power to trample upon serpents and scorpion. And we know from the Bible who is the serpent. It's the devil, the Satan. This Muslim, there was a serpent in the Kaaba. You know, Kaaba is black, hijab is black, dog is black, and Muhammad was a black. So serpent is also black, devil, Satan. Amen.